Before I get rolling too far into this video, there's a few things I'd like to preface. Number one, I am not a sponsored channel and I do not own the knife that I'm about to show you in this video. It was given to me on loan so that I could share it with you, the viewer. Number two, it's a Benchmade. It probably is pricey. I'm going to show it to you from a perspective of, well, I have no idea of this knife. I've never even handled it before. No, I have not even seen a video on YouTube. And number three, if this is the type of video that you like to see more of, well, that's kind of nice. But on the other hand, I've got so many different types of video on this channel, you might want to think twice about subscribing. <laughs> I can't stand intros. So like I said at the beginning, the knife I'm going to show you is the Benchmade Anonymous. It's the 539GY. I'm liking the overall appearance, presentation of this particular offering. Uh, by the way, this ferro rod did not come with it. The owner put it in there just to demonstrate that there is a place for the ferro rod. It looks like the belt loop is removable. There's a couple of screws here. Like I do with many of these types of knives, I like to check the retention on the knife and pulling it out. It's not really snappy. Pushing it back in, it's not super snappy either. The other thing I like to check is the movement of the blade inside the sheath. I don't know if this is plastic or if it's Kydex, but there is no movement at all. Here's the Anonymous. The blade steel is CPM Crewware. It has a generous lanyard loop. It has a very specific notch designed for a ferrocium rod. Kind of looks like the letter J. It has some attractive jimping that's not too aggressive and not too passive. The edge geometry is consistent on the left hand side and just a little bit shallower on the right hand side there is a very slight drop leading that into a drop point blade it's not very aggressive that way but it's a good shape it looks like about a three quarter inch saber grind that may may be a little bit hollow just a little bit it turns out that it's a flat grind. There's no light on the other side there. The handles are removable. Comfortable little thumb notches and index notch here. The handle material appears to be G10. And if the colors are correct, it's kind of like an olive drab. There it is in my medium gloved hand. Lots of real estate. The balance is very good. It feels like it could be hollowed out and skeletonized a little bit behind the G10. Overall, it's a good looking and a good feeling knife. The crew wear is definitely a good steel. Not sure if it's a good buy or not, although I don't really know how much it costs. Who is this knife designed for? It could be anyone that's into woodwork, bushcrafting, hunting, gathering. I think it would make a good knife. Let me know what you think.